Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to work with me in a criminal matter, a murder case. A man who has a family has murdered another man who also has a family. And this man lives in the northern part of Kenya, which is in East Africa. In the northern part of Kenya, instead of taking uh, such matters to court, they prefer to settle the matters out of court. How do we do this? We form a council of elders and the accuser will be able to present his or her case. In this case, we have a widow who has children. She'll be able to present her case through the clan and the accuser will be able to respond and in the response, the accuser will admit to the commission of the crime. So what happens in terms of informal justice? The accuser will be asked to take care of the family of the deceased, ensure that the children have gone to school, pay compensation, and in the northern part of Kenya, compensation is in form of camels which are very, very uh, worthy. So, in this regard, the deceased family will be taken care of, the children will go to school, they will not lack anything. On the other hand also, the accuser will continue taking care of his family, his children, and the clan will take charge to ensure that the deceased family is fully taken care of. To me, that means justice. On the other hand, if you were to go to the criminal court, the accuser will be taken to jail. And so who will suffer? The deceased family will also suffer, and also the accuser's family will suffer. So that's one of the scenarios that I would like to share with you in terms of the criminal matters. However, informal justice in the northern part also faces challenges. When you are a young girl who has been defiled, there is this cultural belief that once you've broken your virginity, you cannot be married again to any other person. And so when you go through the informal customary uh, system, what they do they ask the person who has defiled you to marry you. This brings a challenge. Why? It will encourage early child, uh, child marriages, girls uh, leaving school and being married off, and being forced because you not have the opportunity or the right to be able to choose whom you want to get married to. And that's why in this regard, in Kenya, we, have coming, we are coming up with the alternative justice uh, system policy, whereby we want to ensure that the decisions that have been passed by the, the, by the informal justice system are actually enforced by the court. To this extent, the court will be able to create checks and balances and accountability and we'll be able to ensure that the rights of the women and the rights of the children, or especially the girl child, are actually realized. Such that if you come up with such decisions or forcing a young girl to get married to somebody who has defiled him or her, then the court will be able to stop and say we cannot enforce such kind of a decision. So, it will be a hybrid of both the informal customary system vis-a-vis -vis the formal customary system. We need to create checks and balances as much as we want to ensure that the rights of women are upheld through the informal customary system. So we have such kind of a scenario whereby a young girl was forced to get married to a man just because the man had defiled her. In this regard, FIDA came in 
was able to get this young girl who really wanted to go to school and took the girl to school. And the girl, through the government, has accessed education, went through the primary, the basic education, secondary education, and is now at the university. This actually ensures that g girls still are able to access their education. To also uh, ensure that we have checks even in the criminal uh, perspective, the Office of Director of Public Prosecution has come up with a diversion policy. So that as we are diverting these offenders or perpetrators from the criminal justice system outside the court, we are able to ensure their checks and balances through the prosecution to ensure that if their restitution, the restitution has been paid or compensation, if there's rehabilitation, somebody has gone through rehabilitation, and at the end of the day, somebody is well reintegrated back to the society. This especially applies when we're dealing with drug cases for the youth, drug cases for uh, women, drug cases for girls, to enhance, to ensure that they go through rehabilitation instead of them being sent to prison or through the formal courts. So we prefer to go through rehabilitation and reintegration, and this embraces informal justice system instead of going through the formal justice system. Thank you very much.